calling us to believe the one true God. And he's telling the people, if this book is not from God, you know, bring a chapter like it and disprove it, it's not from God. Yeah. And the book is calling people to say so many things of our daily life, it's our, it's our do's and don'ts I mentioned in there. Say like in society we need some kind of solution, we need some kind of problem solving. Mm -hmm. Like we have a political, we have a social, we have economic, we have uh, so many, so many problems. And the only one book has to solve it, it has to be from divine. And the divine has to explain to us what is meaning or purpose of life. Because what is, what is life anyway? Where does life come from, you know? Why we have so much problems, you know? All these questions are assess, assessing questions yeah. that daily we have to answer ourselves. It's not just like, you know, just like, we, you know, living life and eating food. We believe that there's a high power and there's a, something being inside that is yearning us to believe the, the power, the majesty of God. And it's calling us to believe, you see. And, and we say that that is, oh, that is the Quran. We say that the Quran is from God. Moses and Jesus and Abraham, these were men God chose and communicate with them high platform and guiding the people. And we believe the Quran is from God because we can analyze it. What Moses did, what Abraham did, we can analyze through history. And then uh, we can say that these people, they've gone through certain problems of their, of their time and it's teaching us to catch up. Where have we gone wrong? And don't be like those time of that people. And then we can live our life according to what God is giving us. Uh, and to live according to, you know, what God's pleased. Because we have to say like, where does, uh, you know, uh, morality, morality come from? Yeah. If you have different morality, it's going to be different uh, subjectives and everybody can speculate. Oh, I, I, see, I see life this way. I see like, you know, like, if I say to you, like, what is your purpose of your creation? Some people will say, you know, you have purpose of creation. Some people will say, I was born to, you know, to be good to my family and to fellow. But who told them that, you know? No, let's ask her. There must like, be. What do you believe in anything, mother? I think I'm here to, for me to help people yes. because in the end yes, it yes. happened. Yeah. Now, but where like, does that happen come care, from? Caring for someone. Yes. But I think it was always there. Mm. Mm. But I had to be ready for and open for it. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, I yeah. agree with you. Where yeah. you, you you're you're born like self inclination to yeah. help others, to be kind, mm. to to be kind to to support others yes but yeah. that is, this is this is a good yeah. thing this is a good thing yeah, but if you support thing, other people that you are agreeing helping people is good but how do you know that in what you're doing is good is good how, how do you how do we choose you know, for that example, how, how uh, do you know if your mother who raised you who born you gave you who burn you and then she raised you all her life and then you start helping other people instead of your mother would you be fair yeah. Yeah. would you be would you be marked as a good person I am helping my mom because my mom. No, no, I'm just giving you an analogy. Yeah. I'm not okay. saying you yeah. in particular. I'm yeah. saying, yeah. let's say, two individuals, yeah. one person who was born by a mother, who raised her all her life, who gave her education, who provide for her everything, and then she is grateful to another person yes. instead of her mother. Who is better? Is yeah. someone Do you who, see that analogy you're saying? Yeah. So yeah. my analogy is this here. Yeah. Let yeah. me come to conclusion. Yeah. God has given us life, for example. He gave us lives, yeah. He sustained us, He provides for us, He look after us, everything, yeah? He protect us, the protector, the most wise, all-knowing. Yes. So we have to be grateful to the most high, the creator, yeah. instead of another people. Yeah. So just like you have to be grateful to your mother, who look after you, who provide yeah. you, yeah. instead of other people. Let's, let's then, ask her. You let's, have let's to do you believe there's you, high power or? Do you believe in the creator? Who? Yeah. What do you believe? Oh, uh, what do you say? Yeah. Um, I believe a little bit because mm. I must be created for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. A the purpose. purpose. Yeah. Purpose. Yeah. 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 Live yeah. Yeah. Yes. My life the way I want. Yes. Okay. So You're right. Absolutely. This, yeah. this, this, this way, this way the creation comes in. This is where the creation comes in. He tells us why is why creator, you've been created. Yeah. Yeah. He said that you created you yes. to see a good indeed. Which of you are good indeed with God, uh, God consciousness? And how do you worship God? This is one of the things of Islam. 
say like one if I someone tells you you have eyes, you have kidneys, you have uh, you have mind, you have reason. All this faculty is not by random things. It has been gifted to you. If I told you today your one of your kidneys is in the hospital, and then you will spend all your money, all your saving, just to get back on life again, and he said, yeah, I will do that. But it's, look at it, it's giving for free. Yes. And then God is telling you, you have to give grateful for what I've given. You know, give thanks for what I've given that. And he's calling people, you know, to, 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 to recognize these things as a rational and, and logic and reason. All these things is coming from the Creator, saying that for your own self, there's absolutely the design. And you have to contemplate yeah. of your life of your purpose and this life you say that this life is short and then we're going to go back to our creator but it depends how we live our life how do we live our life do we live life as pleasing ourselves or or this one because we, we, people will say yeah there's problems in the world world war two everything is fighting there's problems they're shooting and then what's the end of what end of the tunnel there must be some other things in there that may be something is good nobody knows you know but this is what God is inspired us to do so. Telling us these are all the things you have to contemplate, you have to reason, you have to come to your senses and recognize your surrounding. Because once you understand God, there will be no confusion. There will be rational make sense because you have believed the oneness of God that God is calling us to. And all the prophets were doing the same thing. Jesus was doing it, Moses was doing it, and Muhammad was doing it as well. So what we say, what you actually said is actually makes sense, but it has to come no, on how board. How do you define the creator? How do you know this creator exists? That's yeah. my question to you. Um, or what will, what will convince, convince you that the creator exists? That's my second question. For me, yeah. it's like I know there's a path, but it's not really clear. Yes. Yeah. So if I knew, like, yes. I was shown, like, a clear path. Okay, yeah. clear, path, clear path. Then you will believe it. Yeah. So that's why we're here to show you yeah. the clear path. Yeah, actually, because do you, do you believe there's absolutely so, truth? Absolutely, so there must be absolutely yes. truth in somewhere. Yes. Yes. There cannot be two absolutely truth. There has yes. to be one absolutely truth. You know, there can't be two or two queens. Yes, exactly. It has to be. Yes. Yes. Everyone has one. Has to, make, it has to be one. One so woman. Being. Yeah. yeah. So we believe there's absolutely right. truth out there, but people have to search for it. And that search is that communication. We believe the Quran is from God. And as people, what you, it's like a magnet calling up for what's in your self enough too. And we believe the Quran is because it's a powerful yes, book. So we need to establish creator is, for example, in the beginning of the universe, you heard about this, the universe has a beginning, the Big Bang. Yes. Do you agree? Yes. So what caused the Big Bang, if you don't mind me asking? Um, because it was just like they said, it was like an asteroid that just yeah, just gas just hit blow. the earth, mm -hmm. and, yeah, hit the earth, yeah, a gas explosion, yeah. explosion, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe that as well. That's what the Quran talks about it as well. So he said that the this, modern science the, conclude that the universe has a beginning. Did you know this? <laughs> so the world, the, the universe is expanding basically, and the, what causing it? That's my question to you. What's causing it that the world, the universe is expanding? I think because we're all growing and it's like, yeah. everything just is growing. Yeah, they're expanding. Where are you? Ways, Our like, boss is right there! Yeah, yes. Like, yeah. interactions, yeah. everything. Yeah. Just it's a miracle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's we believe it was caused by the Creator. We believe, as a Muslim, the Creator has created the universe, the Big Bang, everything. Is own cause, is yeah. own created. The creator is the one who created everything. The universe, the human being, yeah. the animals, the stars, the moon, everything that you can think of. Yeah. And this universe, the, the creator has given us purpose to recognize who this creator is. For example, we're a sign of the creator. We as a human being, yeah. we're conscious, we can think, we know what's right, what's wrong. We know what's good, what's bad. Yeah. For example, like you mentioned earlier, if you're kind to other person, if you feed them, you know automatically, rationally, that it's a good thing. And if you steal from another person, yeah, it's, it's bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. So God has given us the, the, 
God, he wouldn't leave us alone. He gave us, he sent us a prophets and messengers to recognize who this creator is. You agree with me? Mm -hmm. So, yes. yes. So, because a, a creator does not come into this universe. Mm -hmm. It's very tiny compared yeah. to the creator. It's not compared to the creator. Yeah. Yeah. So, he sent, for example, he sent Adam as the prophet, Moses, Noah, Jesus, Abraham. And oh, the last the messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I don't know if you know any about these prophets. You mm. know about them? Have you heard about them? Uh, I've heard them, but I don't really know no. about them. Okay, how yeah. can we define these prophets to be a true prophet? That will be a question, I think, mm. to you. Mm. These prophets were given miracles because anybody can claim to be a prophet. But these prophets are human beings that were sent, who were like us, but they had something. God has blessed them them with miracles. That's why it says Prophet Muhammad, yes. you should know this man. So for example, Prophet Musa was sent, he was given miracles by God's permission. And then later on, God has sent prophets into every nation to, to call people yes. to worship one God. One God, yes. That's what you mentioned earlier. We need something a bit stronger, then I'll follow it, right? Mm -hmm. So God has sent every prophets, nation. Yes. I won't believe Prophet Moses was sent miracles mm. prophet jesus were given miracles by god's permission and prophet muhammad peace be upon him he was sent as the last messenger and he was also giving miracles mm. but and prophet because uh, all those prophets we cannot see their miracles but we can see prophet muhammad's miracles do you know what his miracles is is in 21st century yeah. it's the quran and prophet muhammad was given a quran as a miracle yeah do you know quran is the Earth book on earth yes contradiction yes changed it was given by by the creator he was given to prophet muhammad he could not read or write mm. imagine the book something was given to someone who cannot read or write and then he has got no contradiction unchanged and he's challenging to all mankind mm. everyone to bring chapter like the quran and nobody yeah. has ever brought it yes the linguistic the, the, the lit literature of the Quran is, you cannot imagine, yeah. in Arabic language it was Have you, uh, give you copy. Yeah. We'll yes, give you copy, the yeah. the Quran is chapter 14 chapter in the Quran. Yes. Yeah. And nobody has ever brought even like one sentence, one chapter of the Quran. Yeah. So the Quran, for example, is talking, it's got scientific rights. Yes. It's unlike any other scripture. Hmm. It, it passed the test. For example, yeah. scientific. Uh, it talks yes. about the. It talks. I call it cloud. About the galaxy. Yes. It talks about the embryo. About the mountain. Clash. It is discovered 60 years back, but 100 years ago, and mentioned. I believe is from. Is is a, a green modern scientist world today. Yes. Say if book is agree with modern science to be from God, because we once you once you believe book God, then it has to be coming, from God. and then once you coming from God, then you have because uh, so many things is going on like uh, if the more sticking to it, you know understanding your uh, uh, observation of the world then you could be understanding of the world, what the Quran talks about it. The Quran talks about the human psychology behavior. People, it talks about so many things. It, yes. it so many aspects of uh, psychology, of their behavior. It talks about some different things, about you know, resurrection. It talks about the... Correct, gone wrong. Present and future, that will be. Okay. So, so, we believe in the of God as a Muslim by Islam. Have you heard anything? Mm. So, love, let me, come the right let me place. tell you about it. <laughs> in chapter 2 in the Quran, yeah. uh, 163, mm. the verse it says that your God is only one. Mm. There is no God but He. Yes. So we do not worship anyone beside God. Yes. We do not associate any partners with God. Yes. That is the distinction between the Islam and other religion, other faith. For mm. example, 
Islam is the religion, yes. fast growing religion on the first of earth. The fast Did you growing know this? religion, yes. <laughs> so, do you know, and the majority who are entering into Islam are the women's. Yes. Majority. So, Quran, we believe uh, Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of God. How do you know this prophet? Uh, he's a prophet. He prophesies about the future, about yeah. 21st century. He was sent 1400 years ago. He yeah. says, I can tell the you. He prophesied today. Yes, he's telling you something that's happening today, right now. Yes, 1400 years ago. Now, where they used to drive camels, you have. No. And he talks today. Well, Prophet Muhammad, there will be a. Yeah. Who did not to build building? Yeah. He said, between Arab will compete each other in. Yes. Tall buildings. Yeah. Do you know where is the tall building right now? It's in Dubai. It's called Burj Al Arab, Burj yeah. Al Khalifa. One of the tallest buildings. How did he know? That is the question. Yeah. And he said, you drive into the masjid a car. They will right. say boxes. Yeah, yeah. box. Car. But he said box. Yeah, 14. And people. Oh, they yeah. didn't even know. How they people. So and human psychology. Yes. Behavior, they will uh, not. Yes. It's happening today, right now. Hey. So, feel of the time. And we believe that this is happening. By analyzing who, if he's true prophet, then all these prophets said of that time, is, he said that he will be break. Mother and father have not. And marriage, yes. uh, marriage, divorces. Was, all these so prophets talk. One right. We stopped. Prophet Muhammad yeah. is the last messenger that was sent to everyone, no matter whether you are English, yeah. China, whoever you are, always, yeah. he yeah. says, All he was sent. Rahmatulil uh, Alameen, was yeah. merciful. God is one, can we can I who this God is? So, it's the personal name of God in Islam. It's called Allah. Have you heard about the name called Allah? Okay. Yes. So, Allah is the personal name of true God. Nothing else can be called Allah. For example, other people, if you say God, it can be plural, it can be goddess, you can... Yeah, it, they can uh, play with the words. You can play with words, yeah. but Allah is singular it's name. It's unique name, yeah. It's unique, yeah. yeah. So the term has no plural or gender, unlike yeah. the English word God, which can be made both plural and feminine. Salaam, you going, yeah? Take care. Yes, the, the unique use of Allah is the reflection of Islam, emphasized on the purity of the belief in one God. Yes. The main beauty of Islam is that it knowledge that to complete perfection, greatness, and uniqueness of God with absolute knowledge. Yes. It's good and unique. Do you agree? Yes. Uh, so you Can have, I get one, yeah? So, yeah, that is the Quran. God has father or daughters or wives. Mm. It's, it's unlike the creation. God is the creator, the most yes. high. Do you agree? Okay, God alone is worthy of all worship. Yes. So we worship God directly. For example, if I give you one million pound and I say to you, give me your eyes. If I if I give you just, let's say I give you one thousand pound, what would you say to me, Alice? Honest, for that. Yes. I would refuse. You refuse. Yeah, because yeah, you're because a stranger. You know, because you know, <laughs> you're a stranger, right? Yeah, you refuse, but some people will take that one and yeah. they will always say thank you, I appreciate it, change their life. Mm, they yeah. can build to whatever, they, what, they can buy their houses, mm. their cars, whatever they wishes, but you refuse, I respect that. Yeah. But mm. uh, my point will be is if you refuse that, that is absolutely fine. So, had they be, for example, we worship only one God. As in being more than one God, it would reflect deficiency in our authority. God of having revelation, process of needy agreement with other gods. So we don't believe multiple gods. Yes. For example, we believe in the oneness of God. The one Some Christians they everything. say Jesus is God. Who do yes. we say yes. the cow is God? God. Is God. We, we say God we, is one. We reject all of false gods. Yes. We worship one God. We have self nation recognize that yeah. there is only one God. We believe yeah. every child is born as a Muslim. Yes. Who, who works you know, Muslim submit. Yes. Yeah. So, when you obey, 
everything submits to will to God. The sun is submits to will because it's moving the power of God. Yes, the, the power moon he of the God. cloud, the, tra the rain, it comes from the mission of God. It moves here by the permission of God. The air moves with God. Yes. The body that we hear in hand, the of God. So, who do you like uh, save your life, for example? Mm -hmm. Yes. My mum, but obviously, mm. sometimes. No, your mum born you, yeah. actually. Your mum yeah. born you, but who gave you life? Yeah. Like, I'm talking about life. Yeah. Who gave you life? Well, it would be a higher power. High power. High power, yeah. And yeah. we said that it gave you. Yeah. Yes. Because, for example, if you said, my mum gave me life, and then one. And your mum returned. Mom and, and dad. Had the power it was just a cost. Yes. It was, means. it was just a means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come. God had but the embryo, the way it changes, yes. it changes form. God is the one who... It becomes yes. one thing with the sperm, comes a living... That's a miracle. You believe in God because you said the high power yeah. gave you life. So now, yeah, do you believe... You I mean, for example, if there's a chapter in the Quran, it's 112. It says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُ One and unique. Unique. Do you agree? Yeah. Allah who summoned his son, yes. eternal, eternal, do you agree? Yes. We're in need of God. God does not need us. We're in need of God. Yes. Do you agree? He begot, nor was he begotten. Do you agree? Because God did not give birth to anyone or he was not born by mother or... There is nothing comparable to God. You cannot comprehend God. We can Anything. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? By the time you Do think you of something, it cannot be. Yeah. You yes. picture something yes. is in your head. If the most powerful yes. creator, the sustainer. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. So, so we established that God is one you already agreed. Yes. Do you agree, Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of God? You agree? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. That's Good. it. That's what Islam. So you're closer to Islam now. Yeah. Mm. So are you ready to say the shahada, the testimony? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. It's, it's, okay. <laughs> okay. In, in your like, head. Thinking. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thinking. Lovely. So I will say in English. Yeah. Is there anyone forcing you? No. No. Thank you. Lovely. So your... the the shahada, the testimony. I will say in English, then you say in Arabic. I testify. You repeat after me. Yeah. I testify. I testify. Oh, uh, there is none worthy of worship. Worship, except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger of Allah. Of Allah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Say Ash. Ashhadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Ilaha. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. Ashhadu. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. So Alhamdulillah. Welcome to Islam, sis. Muslim. Yes. Yeah, Muslim. How do you feel right now? I actually feel. Yeah. I just feel like light. Light. Yeah. That means your heart is getting clean. Yes. Your heart is getting fresh. Alhamdulillah. That's very good. Allahu Akbar. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah. So Allah is the greatest, that's what I said, mm. Allah is the greatest. Because we believe, mm. yeah. so the first, so Islam has a five pillars. Mm. The first one you have utter in your mouth. Yeah. We believe all your previous sins are that's forgiven. forgiven. Yeah, that's why, you're, that's, that's why you clean you up. You feel clean. Yeah. Anytime you die mm. from now, your, per, your promise, paradise, Muslim. Mm. You will enter paradise by God's per, permission. Yeah. Mm. So the second pillar of Islam, is the salat prayer for example we pray five times daily yeah. Yeah. and then uh, yeah shahadat wa salat hajj to pray five times daily wa salat wa ita is zakat and to give charity like you mentioned before but this charity is annual charity every year we give the money that you have saved for example you give 2.5 percent to, yeah. to the poor wa mm. hajju yeah Yes, the third one. And the fourth one is the... Oh, yeah, oh and the we're fourth just talking. One, 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the fourth one is to fast in the month of Ramadan. Did mm. you know last month we fasted? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the one who can afford to go. Mm. So the fifth one is only those who can go to Hajj pilgrimage in Mecca. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, mm. we believe everything. Uh, Allah, we believe yeah. in destiny. It's the will of, yeah. uh, it's the willing it's of Allah will of that God. accepted Islam. Yeah. Allah has brought you in here yes. because Allah recognizes you. Your, did you open yes. your mind? Yes, and it your makes heart. sense. Yeah, it's just sunny. It's like yeah. I've never ever heard those things. Yeah, I can understand it. Yeah. It's yes. Just, Allah Akbar. It was like just really easy to follow and yeah. understand. Yes, yeah, yes. definitely. Simple. Nothing else like wow. that. Yeah. I've never wow. had that. It's never. That's oh, very good. Okay. Lovely. You're very good. So, that's, what's that's your what's your name, sister? Crystal. 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 I will take your contact contact you. Yes. And uh, inshallah, we will teach yes. you Islam. Yeah. How to pray. Mm. So many yeah. things. We have a. We will mm. pass you. We have a YouTube. Yes. Also yeah. our channels and uh, and we, this is the Quran. You have the brother gave you the Quran, yeah. Yeah. What's your number? Okay. Zero seven nine. Zero seven nine. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't say.